go. Managing a production here with Awake at Last. Awake at Last. He was paying attention. <laughs> So, how do you guys get the name? Because a lot of people like asking that question first when they hear the name. Uh, one time, Vince was asleep, and then he woke up, and he was like, I'm awake at last. <laughs> no, no, um, before we had these, this group, these five people together, Eric and I had started the band back in the day, and we were trying to think of different names, and uh, we had bounced a couple of different ideas around, and uh, one of the ideas was Alive at Last, and then we were like, and eh, it's okay, but we wanted something a little bit different. And, you know, when we made the decision to like pursue this professionally and to do this and just like whatever sacrifices, whatever happens, happens, we we came up. We, we felt like we like woke up to it. Like we finally realized like what we were gonna do in life. So awake at last represents that like knowing that this is what we want to do. So what I've noticed is your band is really established. You guys have merch. You guys have a good stage presence. You have a lot of stuff going on. So how long have you guys been doing this? The band is four years old. This lineup's about a year old with these two. Uh, yeah, these, these, yeah, these, yeah, these two are our newest members. Right about three, four months back. But we've been touring uh, like the East Coast and, and regionally for the past two years, like very seriously. Like that's been like so. I'd say like for the past two years has had has been when we've been really like pushing it. Yeah. So since you two are both new on the band, how do you guys feel about touring around and playing with these guys right here? Uh, that's stupid. <laughs> he said it. Man. He said it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's been. Um, I did a little bit of touring in my old band, which is actually how I found these guys. So I was kind of used to it, but we definitely do a lot more touring. So it was like just, just more of it, I guess. Yeah. But it's been it's been fun. What about you, Finny? I was used to playing in like local metal bands, like 10, 15 people at a VFW hall, and then like you know I jump on the bus. You know, it's a big adventure. <laughs> <laughs> it's always an adventure with us. Yeah. So, what do you guys would say is like your sound when someone comes to see you for the first time? Uh, like Britney Spears cover band. Yeah. So no. Amazing. No. Uh, <laughs> so like it, that is the hardest question to answer. Like it, it, a lot of people ask you know oh you're in a band you know what do you sound like and and it's really hard to explain what we sound like you know uh, my biggest advice I like to just say it's rock and roll music you know it's got the guitars the bass the drums and like vocals. And you know you can call it you know emo or screamo or like you know that we've been we've been tagged with all these different we've been tagged we've been tagged, tagged mall, mall emo. emo. I don't know what that we is. have no <laughs> idea what that was. And we were like, what what's mall emo? And, and apparently that was like you know you're you're the use, you're my chemical romances, you're like 2007, 2008, taste the chaos. Sound. Basically, bands that uh, shirts are in Spencer's. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Or out of But but if I was to describe our sound, I would just say that it's very melodic and it's very driven and the message is positive and it's very just you know it's like heavy music but you know all the like you know it's clean vocals and it's just you know it's very like you know it's it's I like to say it's a little dramatic but not really you know it's very like, like a little theatrical the crowd, yeah you know it's very just you know it's melodic and we, we try to make sure our, our songs come across you know like not just like badass but beautiful at the same time so yeah. who would you say is the most goofiest in the group and who's the most calmest and who's just like you guys have to keep hitting in the head well, this is the goofiest Yeah, guy. this one's the goofiest. <laughs> I think it's the goofier word. We call him a velociraptor because we know there's food in the bus and no one claims it. It really turns into a dinosaur. It's mine. It's, it's everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. It's like the Tasmanian devil. We'll just like turn around and like half our food will be gone. Like that happened once. My favorite like, story, we went out to eat and Emron was talking. The next thing he turned around, he had ate his whole sandwich. And he had his sandwich too. So he was next to me and he was just, I was just like, he just asked me like, can I have your sandwich? And I wasn't listening. I was like, yeah, yeah. And he, he ate my sandwich, but his sandwich was still there. And I was like, what's the point of this? Why well, wanted your sandwich? I had like a cheeseburger and he had a cheeseburger. It was like the same thing though. So, so do you guys have anything new coming out? Any new music? Any new like shows you want to point out? Anything like that? So we have, uh, we just got out of the studio last week. So we'll have two new songs coming out. Eat your yeah. Yeah, they're they're really different and like really like next like what's next for us like that's we we we, yeah, we, we came from a place of like you know trying to figure out what our sound was gonna be for this band for the future and by the time we went to the studio and everything was said and done it was like that is the direction we're gonna go so we definitely keep an eye out for it because it's 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 different but it still maintains all of our elements that keep you know that make us awake at last but with just a, a flare of just something different something more and it's really cool. I'm really excited about it. And since it did happen, sadly, at this show, 
rest in peace to your face. Yeah. It just randomly <laughs> snapped, and I've never yeah, seen okay. that happen. Yeah. I've been Tyler. Tyler. Sure what happened, though, I know is I looked down, and it was just dangling. I'm like, okay. Remember <laughs> Tyler? Broke his face. And right another thing that everybody loved in the show, you get really into it, you start dancing, I guess, or you do this little hip thingy. I'm not sure if you noticed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Am I sure if you do it for the ladies or you just? I do it for everyone. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> for whosoever will. We definitely try to make it a point to be as energetic as possible. You know, because when you're at a show, you know, people want to be energetic, and that's, you're there to express yourself. So, so when you're all there, be standing there. To yeah, you know, it, it, you know, by by being energetic ourselves and pouring that into the crowd, they in turn return said energy, and it's like an exchange of like, you know, it's, it's musical communication. You know, you just bring the thunder, man. I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's say if I'm a fan watching this, I go see you live, and I want to go talk to you in person. Like you know, sometimes some bands are dicks, and then sometimes they're just chill. Like, be honest. If some random person, I you know, if you're busy or something like that, would you like, you know, give them that one minute to talk to a fan? I guess we make it a point to talk to any. Everybody, man. We are we we have you know even even with bands too. You know like you know whatever we've learned from being on the road, I'm always down to just tell any young band that's up and coming like this is how we've been doing this. You know that they come with like whoa, how do you do this? It's just like here's kind of how we do it. You know some like steps. yeah, you know here's some steps you can take. You know, I've, dude, I've, music is about connecting with people. So like I would tell anybody who's watching this or any fan that would want to come talk to us to just do it. We we are more than happy to talk to everybody in the room. We can. You might even get to yeah. see us dance. And you might even get to see Tyler dance, dance more. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same social media that too, like for people that us up on Twitter or Facebook, we're just talking to. Oh, yeah. You can't come to the show or whatever the deal is. We try to be as like personal and as connected with our fans as we possibly can be as a band, you know, because we don't want to be that band that gives off that vibe that we can't be approached, you know, like because we're about what we do, and if you're about what we do, then we're all a big family, you know what I mean? Like everyone's trying to do something, you know what I mean? So. I'd say definitely come talk to us. So before we wrap this all up, is there anything you really want to point out, like strongly, like something you guys all as a band want to point out? Um, sucks. <laughs> yeah, we really don't like. I want to give a shout out to the fact that uh, that gay marriage is now legalized for all the fifty states. Yes. yes. What's up? Finally. Like, yeah, they have the right to be just as miserable as everybody so, else. Like that needs to be pointed out for the. For but, uh, but other than that, I mean, we are on tour currently, and we are going to be on tour for the next, I think, month and a half almost, up until, like, mid-August. So anybody who's watching this or anybody who checks this out, like, find out if we're going to be near you and just come to a show. You know, you can listen to our music and you can get an experience that way, but, like, the true Awaken Last experience is coming to see us live and, like, letting us perform for you because, you know, that's, that's where our passion, like, really is, is in touring, which is why we do it so frequently. So make sure to check out one of their dates and go check these guys out. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much.